Welcome guys to Chelsea Curry Mode and this is episode number 4. So in last episode we had uh, wrapped up the match against Wolves, Liverpool, Borussia Dortmund and Aston Villa. And I was going to record the Stoke City epi- uh, Stoke City match but I forgot. So sorry guys, I am going to re- uh, it's going to be done in today's episode. Today's episode we are going to play against uh Stoke City, Manchester City, Zenit St Petersburg. Crystal Palace and Sheffield like mostly we are going to finish the month of September and next episode we are going to head towards October and maybe next episode October can be finished and uh, then the next next November and December and then we will start with the January transfer window so let's begin the episode hit the like button subscribe So in likes I'll bring you a video tomorrow and tomorrow itself let's get this one started So guys the game has ended with the Christian Pulisic hat-trick Werner scores one and we win it 7-2 that was quite easy humiliating stoke yeah it was really easy and Ben Chilwell had an amazing performance Chilwell Havertz Pulisic Werner didn't have the best of performances but yes Kurt Zuma played well. That's a uh, that's not good. That's good. But yeah, we have decided to sell him so he's going to leave us this January transfer window as soon as it begins. Till that time, Declan Rice he has to grow as fast as possible so that we can play him next on West Ham. That's interesting. I wish I would have got a Middlesbrough or uh, maybe a Derby. or derby or blackburn or portsmouth i wish because they are the lower teams of that the lower teams and we can take advantage of that easy easy draws then we could win all the matches competitions yep fine fine training training is the main thing i want to do now because I will meet you after the training session. The reason I am doing the training is because I want to increase the chemistry of players like Declan Rice and yeah, it's really important. I'll meet you in a, in some time. Um, guys, we have a match against City just I guess one day after the match against Stoke. And uh, it's good that our team is fully fit no changes but Thiago Silva Thiago Silva is low on stamina I don't think maybe in between the game we have we will have to change it why is Declan Rice not happy okay fine we just might have to start him in this game ahead of Thiago we just might have just because because they are uh, like he's low on stamina we can't take the risk or should we, i should i sub him off at the half time that's a big question instead of chilwell chilwell is fit so instead of zeek i'm going to start uh mason mount and rice is going to start instead of thiago silva i know it's a big call but okay zuma is a stopper so he can be here and Is Rudiger a stopper? Yup. So let's keep Rudiger at the middle, and let's continue. And guys, we lose against City. Liverpool against Liverpool we dominated, but yeah, we lose. Havertz and Pulisic tried their best to make a comeback, but nah, not against City. You can't do it against City, but yeah, De Bruyne and Sterling just helped them finish the game off. and bonardo silva started the game did he get assist as well bonardo um yep he did he got two assist a nice one for him and we lose another game that's not good that's really not good that's really really not good for to i don't think we are we will be able to challenge for the title this season until we No, for in Champions League, I don't want to match up against these big teams. At least some small teams, like the underdogs, 
I would love them, but yeah, can't do much about this. And let's see, and we have dropped to fifth place. Oh no, if we had won this match, we would be only three points away from Arsenal. Yeah, that's harsh, that's harsh. Our next match is against St. Petersburg. And I think so, we'll be able to, not think so, I am sure we will be able to get past them. They haven't lost a single match in the last six games. It's time to change that, we'll uh, defeat them. This game, Silva is low. Not good at all. I start Reese James. He hasn't got a chance yet. Hakim Ziyech at Cam. And Tammy Abraham. Kepa Arzablaga. Wait, instead of whom? The question is instead of whom? Should I start Kepa? Instead of Sheja, let's keep it. He was a captain. I guess Encolo is a captain now, but I'll simulate this match and meet you after the simulations. So guys, we win the game against Zenith, but we had to make a comeback. Uh, Ziba, uh, I don't know how to spell his name. Really, I'm really sorry if I spelled it wrong. Like Ziba, something like that. I've seen him play for the Russia team in the Euros. And then we have to make a comeback. Mason Mount scored a brace. Odoi and Abraham on target. That's what you love to see. They didn't get chances. When they got opportunities, they proved them. So maybe Abraham will stay. Just maybe. For, for fitness reasons, we, need, we, will need, we will have to keep him. Or we will have to buy a backup striker. And I am not in a mood to go to the market and buy a backup striker. And I need, I want him to be around 75. And you know, time is good, so we'll keep him. I'll meet you during the game on 26th. Until that, I will train the team and we'll meet after the simulation. Guys, the game ended and it's an 8-0 win for us. The game has ended and it's 8-0. Pulisic with 4 goals, Werner with 1, Ziyech with 1, Mount with 1 and Ude with 1. I had to substitute a lot of players but they proved I substitute, I brought them at the right time. Reese James has a defender got 2 assists. Amazing. Kepa is keeping really well. I had to uh, start Kepa because of Eddie Radmendi's injury. And you know, I might uh, just uh, start him ahead of uh, Edward Mendy at some point. Because he doesn't get, uh, Edward goalkeepers don't get injured that much. So, Ken. Oh no, I wish, you, I told Ken because I didn't complete the sentence. I wanted to say Ken leads defeat Tottenham. But till that time, the answer came. Let's see which position we are in the league table and we are third. You know, not bad. Not bad. Eight games. Same amount of points. We have a good goal difference. Six points off the top. One point behind Tottenham. Next episode, we have a match against Tottenham. So, that's going to be an important, important game. And... And uh, when is the game against Arsenal? 13th December. It's near. And we just may be able to defeat them. And then we have we have also Everton coming up. We don't have big matches. We have one. We have United. We have two. United and Tottenham. And then Borussia Dortmund again. Our last... Uh, Group stage game is against Marseille. That's fine, that's fine. So guys, Silva is going to be injured until... Uh, okay, not until. Uh, till uh, the next four days. So he is going to miss the match against Tottenham. That's not a good news, you know. He's one of the main parts of the team. 
and he's injured until the Tottenham match. Even more further, I'm not going to use the the uh, medicates like the ten into boost, you know. Cause let's keep it realistic. That's it would be like cheating. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the game. Into the game against Sheffield, who are fourteenth in the league table. Real life, they are relegated. Guys, you can't write this stuff. Look at that. Pulisic scored in the eighty fourth minute, and Odoi scored in the ninety second minute. And Pulisic's goal was like more like a comical goal because uh, one player shoot uh, one player hit it hit the ball straight towards the keeper. The keeper pushed the ball. It landed towards uh, Pulisic. He he just uh, made a tap in goal. That's it. And the other one was a corner, I guess, of other. Yep, it was. And we win against Sheffield United. We need to keep this form up until the next episode, just because Tottenham is next up. They're a really strong team, and Pulis is just breaking records, I guess, scoring at least one goal in every match. It's just breakfast, you know, scoring every uh, one goal in at least every match. And the September month is just going to end. Tottenham drew the match. That's an amazing. Arsenal also drew their match, guys. Now I guess it's only three two po three two two points between us and the top. It's good we didn't drew the match. I was worried until the eighty fourth minute, while Pulisic and Odoi made it easy for us, and that's really good for us as we head into the month of October. And yups, tomorrow's episode is going to be a bang match against Tottenham. You know, it's a really good one. Training, training is the main thing. We'll have to do that first. So, guys, the player of the month award is going to be just declared in some moments. And look at the nominees: Declan Rice, Christian Pulisic, and Thiago Silva. For me personally, it's Pulisic. Silva and Declan Rice were the late, uh, not the late. Uh, Declan Rice was the late comer who changed the, like he was the super sub for us. Let's see who gets it. It's Declan Rice. Declan Rice. Okay, like he played real well, I guess then. And uh, not the only club player of the month, but I'm not. I'm sure that not the only the club player of the month was not uh, the only thing. Yep, team of the month is also there, and I've tapped it. It's Declan Rice. O M G! Like I have to give him more chances. Actually, should have been Pulisic because he has a ten rating. Werner also played well. We have two, three, four, five, six players from a team. Tagliafico, Aubameyang. They are the they are the basics. Who had came the last time as well? Even Leno, Robert Lewandowski. That smile on his face is not come just because he knows that he is going to lose to us. And you know, I'm coming for you, Robo. Muller can't say you now Lewandowski because we have Pulisic and Werner. I don't know what to make, but you know, we have not won the Prem from the last three seasons. Five seasons, yep, yeah, yeah, five. Like Chelsea, I've been dominating really. Uh, no, okay, United, I've been dominating. So that doesn't matter, cause now we are going to dominate this league. The league is ours. I feel like the chemistry is really a bad, just not bad, but I'm I didn't want it to be because. Declan Rice is not getting the chances just because of the chemistry. Cause the chemistry holds me down, so that I can give the player who have a lot uh, better chemistry to play. What are the finances now? We have eighty eight million. We have just sustained that one fifty nine million income. That's perfect. And we have one thirty five million. We have uh, spent. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hmm. Now the defense, it's like no, I don't want to sell. Uh, I don't want to. I 
I don't want to buy a defender because Declan Rice, Thiago Silva and Anthony Rudiger. Everyone in their pockets, you know. So, yep, so with pushing Avi in the table. We are second. Four points behind Arsenal who are the league uh, leaders. Then we have a better goal difference in Manchester City and Liverpool. As well as Tottenham and uh, Leicester as well as Villa. Fulham, Leeds are at the bottom. When I saw last, I guess it was Fulham, right? Minus 15. They yet have the minus 15. No, they had the minus 10, I guess. Yep. I don't remember. Let's just count Tottenham's team, who they have. You know, I'm just, I have just a little this. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Have they sold Harry Kane? I think they have Harry Kane. In real life. And it's more realistic, you know. Carlos Vinicius. They have Eric Lamela, Luka Mo- uh, Lucas Mora, Gareth Bale, Dele Alli, Bergwijn, Jung Minson, Harry Winks, Musa Sissoko, Lo Celso, and Dombele, Hoiberg, Regular. I don't think this team is really strong. And they don't even have Hugo, Loris. Loaned out, Tony. I would bring back Gazaniga if I was their manager, but no, nope, I'm not their manager. Because Gazaniga is a better keeper, I guess. Yep, he's a better keeper than Joe Hart. And... Uh, no, I don't want to play this match in today's episode. Liverpool versus Arsenal. I wish Liverpool win. Because then the difference between us and Arsenal will be really low. Four points will become like one point. Yep, it is going to become one point. And let me search where Harry Kane has went. Guys, Harry Kane has transferred to Juventus. That's unbelievable. But you know what? It's fine. Our bitter rivals are weak now. So guys, let's end the the episode off here. At tomorrow's episode, we are going to play Tottenham. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's episode. 7 likes, I will bring you video tomorrow and tomorrow itself. Subscribe if you are new around here. I will catch you guys later.